Want to wear a cohort but afraid it's gonna look like pajamas? Stay tuned for today's video. My name is Sarah and I am the award-winning style coach here to help you refine your style and increase your confidence. If you want to learn more about my online courses, you will find them below. You can also find me over on Instagram at thestylecoach.ie and if you'd like to work with me, go ahead and check out my website, thestylecoach.ie. Today's video is all about how to style a cohort. A cohort is simply two garments that are in the same fabric uh, that are made to pair together on the bottom half and the upper half. That's it. However, depending on the item itself, they can very easily look like pajamas. And there's a fine line between wearing your <laughs> cohort as pajamas and then wearing them outside and not being mistaken for wearing pajamas. And we're gonna talk about how to avoid that. Let me know if you try this out or if you have any tips of your own, I'd love to hear about them as well. In design, the cohort is uh, usually a very loose fitting fabric, um, very pajama like. So when we think about wearing pajamas, it's relaxed. There's nothing too tight or um, restrictive in the fabric or how we wear it. So what we want to do is move away from that. How do we do that? We introduce some structure into the outfit. Now structure can be introduced in a few different ways. Generally speaking, I would be using structure in the upper half. Now, if you're wearing something that's long sleeved, I would suggest inserting um, a shoulder pad into it, particularly if you have soft or sloping shoulders. This is automatically going to give it more of a presence, more of a daytime look, more of a blazer type of look into your cohort. The other thing that you might want to do is highlight your waist by using a belt around the midsection, or if it comes with a belt, use it to tie it and give it a little bit more shape so that it's a less sloppy bedtime look. Because for sure, you're not gonna be wearing a belt to bed, you're not gonna be wearing something tied tightly around your waist to bed. So no mistaking that this is meant for a daytime look. The next thing you wanna be doing is accessorizing your look. Again, you're not gonna be wearing accessories like your jewelry or your handbag or anything like that to bed. And so this, again, takes it another step further away from that pajama look. So do go for your necklaces, go for your jewelry, put on your rings, your bracelets, add that daytime element to your look and you will move away from you know, looking like you're going to bed. My next tip is to do something that's a little bit styled with your hair. I don't know about you, but when I go to bed, my hair is kind of down. I don't style it in any way, of course, going to bed, it's no point. Um, so when I'm wearing my cohort, I like to put my hair into um, a high ponytail or perhaps just like a neat bun at the back, at the, at the nape of my neck. And I think that is much more styled than wearing it just loose and down. It's too relaxed. There's nothing to compensate for that bedtime look. And so styling the hair a little bit and making a bit of an effort with your hair will again take you another step away from going to bed. Next is to choose a handbag that has structure in it. So again, we're introducing that idea of something more structured, something that we don't associate with going to bed is structure. So when you're choosing your handbag, make sure that it's not a slouchy style or a hobo style, that it has um, some kind of shape, a solid shape to it, whether it's that kind of rectangle shape, um, but make sure there's something solid there that offsets the relaxed look of your cohort. As for your shoes, again, you wanna move away from something, anything that looks like it could be a house shoe or a slipper. So, you know, you could go for a little white trainer. Um, if it's a long leg, you might even go for a heel, uh, but definitely be careful with your shoe choice that it can't be mistaken for something that you wear, you know, solely at home that it is something that is suitable for wearing out and about when you go outside the house. So those are my top tips for making your cohort look very wearable outside of the house instead of making you look like you're on your way to bed. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you again next week. Take care, bye.